what inspired me to become a writer, uh, I've always written. I've always been a ferocious reader since I could read, which was probably three. I come from a long line of uh, educators and readers. And so I've always written and I've always read. I just never thought that anybody would ever read what I wrote. Thank you for waiting so patiently. No My word! <laughs> I was very ill for about six years, and we didn't know what was wrong, and I was bedridden. The last year, I, was, I had maybe 30 good days all year, and not consecutively either. And so I had read everything that I could possibly get my hands on, and so I just started writing and started writing things that I wanted to read and I wasn't sure if I was ever going to have a normal life and you know be like could get out of bed every day like most people can. What are we doing? Right now? I love you. You've been working very very hard not just on writing your books but learning our business. Been doing 19 to 20 hour days some days. And uh, so I wanted to commemorate everything you did on You not only wrote it, but you formatted it like three different ways for you know Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, and Google. Everybody had to have something different. And uh, I can't and then, believe you remember that. I know, I know. <laughs> and um, and you know, you did your own artwork, and then you had to format it for the books, and then you had to format it differently for the digital media, and then, uh, you know, it's just been a lot, and I'm just amazed by everything that you've done. You've had to learn all this in such a short time. So, uh, I didn't know you, like, were paying attention to all my <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, this is just a little something for me to you. Commemorate I'm gonna make today. Sure I cry. Okay, so okay. How about it? So I had almost formulated a career based on not getting out of bed, and luckily for me, uh, I had a simple surgery, and once I was diagnosed, um, got very well very quickly, and um, so. But I had written three books. I had outlined nine, and I had written three. And so, um, uh, at that point, I still hadn't let anybody read read my work. And um, it wasn't until I was on the mend. It took me about a year to fully get back to you know who I am now. And um, in that time, I had let my husband read some of my chapters because he kept bugging me about it. Right? It's like the only thing he's not allowed to be a part of. So I'll never forget, and I'll get emotional saying this, when I let him read the first few chapters and he read them, and it's very, you get very anxious because it's like, like I said before, it's a naked art form. Like you're totally putting yourself out there, right? And I'll, I, I know exactly where I was at and I know exactly where he was at. I know what we were wearing. Cause he looked at me and said, who the F are you? He goes, you can write. And from then on out, it's just been me saying, okay, this is what I want to do because I love it. I love it. I'm really just so proud. I'm just so proud of her, how much work she's put into this, how much she's grown as a person. It's, it's really just been an amazing ride. So it's really nice to see her dreams come true. She's helped me with mine, and so I feel honored that I'm able to help her achieve hers too. I am overwhelmed right now with the amount of support that I've gotten. Their support means so much, and I don't know if you've seen on the social media like it's like one of us it's like we're they're all holding me up without them i couldn't do any of this like it would be nothing without them 
So I always try to say that this book is about all of us. Like this achievement is for all of us. The women who supported me, they're, it's like everything. Without them, I'm nothing. Without each other, we're nothing. Part of the event is meeting all of the women of wine country and then meeting the Clinker Brick family. The winery family came out because they're actually in the book. So that's been, and then my second favorite was dancing with my divas. Well, first we have Murder and Mayhem, but what's next is Lawyer and Liar, and it will be out before the end of the year, and that will be a whole nother installment of the Women of Wine Country, and we get to read about Sydney and Roman and all of their murder and mayhem.